everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will walk you through three different methods to replace blank values with zero. Let's have a quick glance at the data. So here I have a very uh, simple data set. And if you see here, for the year 2022 and North region, there is no data for sales and quantity sold. Now let's go back to our report. Here I have created a very simple measure total sales uh, with sum of sales. And this is what I'm using in this card visualization and also in this metrics view. As you have already seen, for the year 2022 and region north, there is no sales data. Let's see how this visualization show the data when I select 2022 from the year slicer and north from the region slicer. So see here, it is showing blank, but my requirement is whenever there is some blank data, I want to replace that with zero. Now let me show you what are the three different approaches that uh, we can use to replace blank value with zero. Now out of the three options, there is one option which is extremely easy. I will show that at the end. And before that, I will show how we can replace blank value with zero using DAX functions. The first function that I'm going to use is coalesce function. So let me first create a new measure. And for the example, I use the total sales field. Let's name it as total sales. Coalesce. Let me use coalesce function here. And then I will use total sales. And since I want to replace the blank value with zero, I will specify zero here. So coalesce is a very useful DAX function if you want to convert the blank with zero. My measure is created. Now let me add this measure to this card visualization and see how this measure shows the data when I select year as 2022 and region as north. So see here the original measure is showing blank but when I'm using coalesce function it is no more showing blank it is showing zero. Next we'll move to the second option where we'll use is blank DAX function to replace blank values with zero. So again, go to new measure and we'll name it as total sales It is blank. Now first see how is blank function works. So is blank and I will specify total sales and see here is blank function checks whether the value is blank and returns true or false. So basically if the value is blank then it returns true or else it returns false. So we'll use this function to check whether the condition is true or false. So for that what we have to do is we have to use if function. So if function if you see here the syntax of if DAX function, so first one is logical test and where it checks whether the condition is met or not and it returns whether it is true or false. So our condition is is blank total sales which basically checks whether the value is blank or not. We have to specify if it is true then what? So if it is true that means if it is blank then we'll get zero and otherwise it should return the total sales. That's it. This is how we have to use both if and is blank functions to make this work. So basically again to let me repeat it once is blank function will check whether total sales is blank or not. If it is blank that means if it returns true then we need to specify which value we should show. So in our case we want to show zero that's why I have specified zero and or else that means if the value is false that means if the total sales value is not blank then it should show the total sales value that's it so now let's save this and now let me add this measure to this card visual and see how it shows the data when I select the same combination of filters year is 2022 and the region is north and see here this is also showing zero so now we have seen using colis and is blank functions how you can replace blank value with zero and now the third approach which i'm going to show that is the most easy option so for that again let me create another measure and let's just name it as total sales plus 
and see here all you have to do is specify the measure and our measure is total sales then you just have to add this plus sign and after that just add zero that's it you don't have to use any dax function or anything just use this plus sign and just add zero that's it now let's save this measure so let me add this measure now to the card visual so total sales plus and see this measure is also replacing the blank with zero also let me add this newly created measures to this metrics view let me remove the total quantity sold so let me add colis to this metrics view then i will add the second one i created then the third one and see here all these measures are working on the metrics visual as well so now you know the three different ways that you can use to replace blank value with zero. So that's all for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.